Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I went for a little bit of a cruise through Kmart and I noticed so many new home organizing products for 2024. Now just to let you know I'm not a home shopping channel if you're new here I'm actually a home improvement channel and I really don't want to be promoting fast fashion here but I want to be promoting things that are really affordable that are going to be permanent storage and organizing solutions in your home so that you can have a less stressful place to live in. So let me show you all the things that I found today. First pick of the day were these storage tubs for a four pack for $29. I love the fluted, which is quite on trend at the moment, but all of these are the fluted ones and they have a gorgeous white and the sage green, which you guys know are my colors at the moment. And as some of you guys know, I do love organizing the drawers. I have them everywhere in my house. These ones here are actually really cool. They're wire drawers. You can see there's a little bit of a lip on the top, so you could definitely store things on the top. They actually have these in two different sizes with the two small drawers and the two large drawers. With all the gold fixtures and brushed gold that you're seeing in the houses at the moment, it was nice to see these caddies for $9. There's actually a bath caddy and also a shower caddy as well. One of the things that I did notice today was a lot of small space storage. This one here is just a behind the door organizer for your shoes. They are clear. I've seen these used for so many different things like uh, hair accessories, even dolls like Barbie dolls, things like that. So definitely check out Pinterest if you want some more ideas because that is where I've seen them all in the past. If you do have a small space and you're wanting to utilize that vertical space then Kmart had a lot of items for that as well today a lot of these sort of tubs that stack up on top of each other they have a window and then they have other ones without the window so this is the one with the clear window that you can open it's a 55 liter and then they've got these ones here with the gray lids that just fold up as well so really depends on you know if you want your things to be more visual or not as to which item you'd go for they also had these modular ones, which would be good for things like towels and stuff like that, or clothing if you've got like big piles that tend to, you know, be a leaning tower of Pisa, that would be a really good option. Uh, in these storage boxes, I did notice some rattan and some more of that sage green, or actually a bit more of a forest green in those today as well. I really liked this over the door drying rack. I thought it was another really good space saving solution. I would really like this even just if I was a bit lazy on a winter's day and I had a couple of things to hang out, just to have one of these for my house. Unfortunately, uh, I have already utilized my door space so I can't use it, but this is a really, really good idea. This one here is a steel for $8 and I personally think it does look that little bit more expensive that it's linen. It is definitely going to hold up better than, you know, your shoe ones, the clear shoe ones because it is much better quality. And I just think it looks better as well. Like it's, it keeps everything a lot more hidden. They do have a whole linen look section in here. Uh, it has been in Kmart for a little while though now, but yeah, if you want some other items to match then definitely go and check those out This one is a new one for $4, which goes over top of your washing machine. 
I could see people using these on their bunk beds as like bed bag things or even like on car seats or over a kid's table to put extra bits of stationery in. This was another interesting find if you have a male that may collect hats or has a lot of hat collections, uh, $6 and it holds up to 16 caps. I absolutely love this skincare shelf. You could definitely use this in your kitchen or anywhere that you've got lightweight items and it is clear so it's going to go with any part of your home. This one here was another new one that I noticed was a narrow modular cut out so it has a cut out in them like all the other ones we've sort of been seeing today seven dollars and it's got that little tray on the top as well and then there was like a few other storage sets that i hadn't seen before like these bamboo ones as well this plastic turntable was super cool at 25 dollars but the thing that i love about this is that all those little triangles they all come out i wouldn't have known that if i didn't see one that was already out of its box but yeah how cool is that i love it and you could take them off you could put them back on so a very versatile product and you could definitely use this in other areas of your home like a craft or something like that and then they also had again in that fluted type stuff with the gold handles these drawer sets and they were 25 dollars These ones here, I am so skeptical of them. Uh, are you meant to put them in your washing machine and catches all the cat hair? I've tried things like this and they never ever work. So if anybody's tried them, $4, tell me if they work or not before I go and invest. These here were just too cool for me not to touch. <laughs> really sensory I am. Um, would be cool to clean makeup brushes, but I couldn't imagine cleaning anything else with it. And then again, another thing for cat hair, like a lint remover, apparently you just wash it under a tap and then you can reuse it. How cool is that? $4. So again, let me know if you've tried them, do they work? Admittedly, I do go to cleaning shops to buy a majority of my good cleaning supplies. Um, but this one here did it get my eye because it has a 360 rotation. You can see the water buckets there as well. You've got the clean one and the dirty one. So I thought these would be really cool for actually cleaning your walls. So again, if you've got one of these, uh, leave it in the comments and let, let us know, are they any good? Okay, this one is a foldable wash basket. As I said, there were so many things today that work for small spaces. So if you've got no space for a wash basket in your laundry and you're like me, you have to leave it on the bench and it just always looks unsightly, $16 for a foldable one. Kmart definitely had a lot of different Lazy Susans today. This one here is a two-tiered, but it's actually got a lip on each of the shelves. So when you're moving things around, Hopefully they don't fall off. I'm sure that would be the idea behind it. And then they had this giant one. It was 50 centimeter diameter. And this one here was $19. So if you've got those bigger items, this would be the perfect thing to use for it. In the jewelry section, they had these new color in the jewelry trays. They've had these for years and years, but they've just changed up to the more of the natural sort of tanned color. These were $6 for the smaller ones. And then they also had a couple of new jewelry boxes. This one was a smaller one for $12 and it was in like the sage green. And then a larger one in the blue color was $20. If you need an all-in-one product to store your jewelry and you like that opened concept, then this one here was only $12 and it was in a gorgeous like muted sage color.
This department also held some really cute little trays. You could definitely use these as like coin trays and little catch-all trays in the entry of your home rather than just a jewellery tray if you wanted to. In the basket section, they had a lot of big baskets. So if you need to store large items, these ones here were $25. Definitely gave me those Target vibes that we're all missing now that Target has, you know, got all pretty much Kmart products. Lots of neutrals here. And then in the boucle, which I've had for ages, they've actually just got a new color in, which is this Sage. This was only $10. Personally, I don't love the quality of these, just to be really honest. This was also another newbie. It does give me car vibes. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. There was a gray as well. So yeah, as I said, a definite car vibes. And then um, to the left there, there was another stand with the woven string ones with the like timber handles. Again, yep, target vibes going on there. And remember these? They had them many years ago and they were whole rage. They are back again. I did have a look at one of them and they were like a timbery, not really like a metal, which I thought they might've been metal. Uh, if you haven't seen, I did do a hack on this. There is a whole video. So if you wanna go and check it out and it completely transformed the look of this product. This one here was a good product for behind the door, but it's also got little screw holes here. So if you do own your own place and you wanna make it a permanent thing, you can. There were so many good small storage solutions there. This one's had hooks as well as the shelves. And this is another good hack that I saw on an Ikea page. So you know that little spaces that you have like in between your fridge and things like that. Someone on the page was using them to store like spices and stuff. Another person used it to store chopping boards. Someone else used it for baking trays. So if you're limited spots in the kitchen and you've got one of those tiny little spots, it was pretty much the same as this white picture rail here, which was only $10. This one here has been in stock for ages, but yeah, just a food for thought for anybody who would like to utilize that space. The new one that I did notice though, was the acrylic one for $25. They did have these in the bathroom section as well, like a different size, which also would be great to use for spice racks, not just a skincare. I still had a range of 2024 diaries. This one in particular, if you like to write a big long to-do lists and this one would probably be for you or if you do to do time at blocking for instance, because it has pretty much a page to each day. So it's gonna give you plenty of room to write all those lists and things to do in there. The other product that I liked that looks super classy with these, you should feel how soft it is. It's like a soft sort of like suede material. And these were $5.50, it had a lot of like that neutral color tones, but they're just plain notepads. So if you want like a fancy notepad, that's the way to go. They also had some really tiny little diaries for $3.50. So if you don't have much room, you've got a little handbag to carry around, then this would be the perfect planner. In the bathroom section for $25 were these plastic slimline trolleys. These would be great also for art and craft supplies, but the thing that I really like about these is because they are clear, they're pretty much gonna go with any home aesthetic. So definitely keep that in mind, especially if you're a renter, that this is something quite versatile that you can use time and time again. one of the things that you need to knock off on your to-do list is the garage. They've got you sorted. I don't know why. I usually notice these are at the start of the year and that's pretty much it. So $10 for these. They've got an open window there. So it's clear. You can see what's inside it and that looks like it's pretty easy to actually access your things as well. Um, I do have a garage organization video if you do want to go and check it out and that I'm very proud of and it works amazingly. Uh, these ones here were the other ones that they had as well in two different sizes. So these ones here, if you're one of those people that needs like a, sort of like a grab and go station, something you can stack up on top of each other, then this is also another option.
Okay, this one is not really storage, it's more home decor, but these are some new chopping boards for $10, but they also had a smaller version in the home decor section, which were like a round one. They were hollow. And then they also had the uh, tight ones, which would be for like your soap dispensers and things like that. And they were $12 as well. I personally like using things like this to store like my items. One, it catches everything and it doesn't get all over your table. But also if you just need to wipe your table and you don't need to wipe your centerpiece, you can move the centerpiece, wipe the table and put it back. Or you can just clean this if this is the only thing that needs cleaning and um, put everything back. So it just makes life easier when you're trying to clean up when everything is completely contained.